For eight-year-old Logan, the ringing of the bell was music to his ears, but his struggle wasn't easy and he was in it for the fight of his life. At three years old, he was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. He received treatment and was in remission, but 14 months later, his cancer came back. Approximately a year after his bone marrow transplant, Logan had a relapse of leukemia. So this time we started standard relapse regimen, which can have some variation. Some people use two drugs, some people use three drugs. We decided to enroll him and parents were excited to enroll him on this precision medicine study. And we tested his cells and the drug sensitivity showed us that the cancer was being eliminated just as well from two drugs as it was from the three drugs. In treating cancers, some people think that more is better and it'll be more aggressive, more likely to kill the tumors. What we've seen in the lab doesn't prove that. So in this case, uh, Logan exhibited that. His cancer cells showed us that more didn't mean better and he did well. What's unique about this trial is how rapidly we can turn around results and use those results to direct our therapy. We send the patient for biopsy. The biopsied material is collected fresh on site and couriered over the Florida International University where her lab is and the testing begins immediately. The cells are cultured only for a few days. The testing is done over a period of five days. And by the end of 14 days, we usually have a full set of results. Thanks to the life-saving treatment he received at the Helen and Jacob Shaham Cancer and Blood Disorders Institute at Nicholas Children's Hospital, Logan rang the bell after participating in this clinical trial. Today, in collaboration with FIU, we celebrated this breakthrough treatment that is helping children like Logan fight cancer. At Nicholas Children's, we are always finding innovative ways to treat children with cancer and other complex conditions so that no child ever has to leave Florida to receive expert pediatric care.